welcome back to PHP 101. In this video, we're going to dive into arrays. So the first thing you may be wondering is, well, how do I create an array? So there's a, several different ways that you can create an array. The most simplest one is just creating an in, what's called an indexed array, and you can do it by doing something like this. So we create a variable name. We're just calling it array here set it to equal and then we view this uh, use this array function and then inside of this we just write out the elements of our array so it could be name email oop, email address right and you'll see that now we've created three elements in our array and the the those are name email and address now with an array you can't echo this so if I were to try and echo this array like this what I'm going to get you'll see here is just this word array but I don't actually see what's in it so we have to use a function here called print r which is basically print recursive and that will actually go through the elements of the array uh, and it will print those out so we'll come over here and if we refresh that, now you can see we have name, email, and address. So this is called an indexed array. There's there's really kind of two types of arrays. There's an indexed array, and then there's what's called an associative or named array. An indexed array is essentially one where the keys are numbers. So to break this down and look at what's actually in this array, what we have here is we have these right here, which are the keys. So 0, 1, and 2 are the keys. And then the values are name, email, and address. Now, that's important when working with arrays because that allows you to access different elements within this array. So, for example, let's say we wanted to come down here and we wanted to, we wanted to echo out this name here. So we would do echo. We would reference our array. And then we would use these brackets and we'd specify the key of the element that we want. So in this case, we would do zero and close that line and we refresh this. You'll see that it echoes out name, which is the element that's in the zero position or has zero as a key here. So if we wanted one, we would just come over here to one and that would give us email and of course if we wanted the last one we would do two and that would give us address so that's important to know when you're working with arrays that an array is essentially um it, it's a container of sorts that has different essentially variables inside of it because in a way each one of these keys is a variable that references that has a different value associated with it so we can access that information doing this or using this syntax, okay? So um, once you know that, then there's a couple different ways that you can create arrays. So the first one is what we've, we've done here. Another one is just using brackets. So we can create array two, and we can just use brackets like this, and we can set this equal to something like salad Oop. like this and then if we print our array 2 and we take a look at that then you can see we have a new array and we have an indexed array with the value of salad and then you can add things to this like this and you don't need to specify any name here necessarily and we could put something like bowl. And if we print that array, you'll see that now in it we have salad and bowl. And it really just kind of appends it onto the end of whatever's there. That can be useful when we get into looping and you're looping through different things. Um, and then you can come, you can add uh, elements into your array and so forth um, and, and help build an array programmatically. So if that's something that you've been thinking about doing. Uh, this is one way that you can do that. Of course, the other way to create arrays is what, what are called associative arrays. So 
we can do array three equals and we use our array function and here we actually give we specify the keys so here we could do the key whatever we put first here is the key so the key is name and let's say we would just want to do john right and then we put a comma so this is one element right this is going to be one element in our array the key is name and the value is john and then we could come down here we could do age and oh dear yes i'm 35 as of now <laughs> so age 35 um and we could do email like this okay so now i always there's probably some debate you could have about this i always end with a comma here you can do it with or without the comma but i always put one there because if i come back here later and i want to add something and i don't have that comma there i often forget and so i just i put it there as kind of a, a good practice for me you don't have to do that some people would even say don't do that but whatever uh with or without the comma at the end there it'll still work and then if we come here and we print r r array three then you'll see now we have our array three here and now we have named keys so if we wanted to access for example the name we could come here and we could echo array three name like this and that's going to print out what we have right here for this key name it, the value of it is equal to john all right so that's what uh that's going to do for us and that uh, named arrays are valuable oftentimes we get stuff from a database or so forth you know you'll have named arrays like that because you have field field names and then the values of those fields and so forth so three different ways that you can work with arrays obviously as you get into um, looping and so forth this is going to become more important but that gives you uh, an idea of how to create arrays how to start working with them and so forth